Good morning. What's going on, everybody? Let me just grab my coffee here in my bathroom right now. I like to stand and think in the shower. I know a lot of us do that. If you haven't done it, try it. And as I was standing there, I was like, you know what? I should do a Sunday vlog. And now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get get ready, and then we're gonna go do some stuff. I don't know. Show you my Sunday. It's probably not gonna be that interesting, but let's let's go. My skincare routine. Like let's let's get into it. I put some moisturizer on. And I'm not like great at technique here, but yeah, we get some moisturizer. I use stuff like just regular L'Oreal. And then the most important part, most important part of your day, sunscreen, at least 50 SPF. Every day, even on today, it's kind of a cloudy day. It's a very cloudy day. Doesn't matter. The sun wants to get you. And are you gonna let it? No. You're gonna live to tell the tale. What else did I do? Oh, I already did. I use coconut oil and I like put it on my like body because I have really bad eczema. Well, it's not right now because my coconut oil is working. That's right. A friend recommended and I am now using Miracle Moist from Aussie. Got it at my Safeway. It's just hair oil because I have very dry, frizzy hair. If you don't have dry, frizzy hair, this is probably gonna make your hair look greasy. But for me, it makes my hair look well, a little less dry and frizzy, though it still kind of looks frizzy and dry, so. I actually put a lot of this stuff in while it's a little damp. Uh-oh. And then, uh, I kind of just like fix it up how I like it and let it dry like that, you know? And then just kind of push it into place, you know? So now it's like kind of messy, but not so bad. Look at that. Now I remember, let's go. What are you doing? You just laying around? You gotta get to work. I got these at the grocery store the other day. Thought they looked really nice. I wasn't wrong. All right, bedroom's nice and clean. She didn't get down. I had to make it around her. Look at that. Looks so nice. Right outside, straight to her little corner here under the tree, she goes pee every day. Same thing. Sometimes poop, but you know. While we're here, why don't I show you my little babies? So. This is one of my newest. Look at this guy. So this is a, uh, probably about a 15 year old uh, white pine we think, bonsai. But look at that thick trunk. All the moss, isn't that pretty? This is a little U that I'm curving. This is not the pot that that's gonna go in, but it needed a pot for now. This is a little redwood. And then this little guy, love him. Such a nice yard, I love my yard. This is a big cherry tree, and behind it over there is a uh, giant a fig tree. And uh, you gotta see, oh my gosh, the fig tree is very me, because the fig tree always has its butt out. What? It's the butt tree. Some of my friends recently got me a housewarming gift of this little hummingbird feeder, so excited to have some little more babies. I have a lot of little babies. Breakfast time. I don't know if this stuff is healthy, but I eat this like every day. I don't know, it's not got crazy sugar in it. Also, I went to the movies the other night. I didn't actually see a movie. I just went to get popcorn. So I keep it stored so that I can snack on it. Oh, so. Took my cereal in here in the office this morning. Hmm, office tour. I don't have a lot of closet space. So I got these big three Ikea cabinets for my clothes. Got my gaming set up here, my dual monitors, and I just got a new gaming desktop. My throne and my fish tank. Isn't that a little cute area? It's probably about a hundred year old throne. Not really sure where it's from. Got it from an antique store, but. And then I got my fish tank and I guess, is this the time? Should I show you guys now? <laughs> I guess clownfish are both born males and then can become female, so that's interesting. This is a snail. Let me see if I can get right up next to it. Oh, hello. The rock is live rock. It's got bacteria in it and algae, all that kind of stuff, so it keeps the tank clean as well. That little guy, the green grass looking guy, is a live coral. That's an animal. 
Um, and if he gets scared, he shrinks up and there's no more grass. So pretty cool. A little mushroom coral over there too. Same thing, he'll close. An animal as well. They come on these little like concrete slabs and then they grow off of that too. This is a coral as well. Um, I don't really know the names of all of these. I just thought they looked pretty and they said they would live well in my tank. So I like that this one kind of flows. It's really just mesmerizing to watch stuff flow in the water. This one would be flowing too, but he's not been super happy. I don't know. Hopefully he makes it. Tiny little starfish. He's missing a few little pieces, but he's a little starfish. This is my sea cucumber. You can't see him right there. Benedict Sea Cucumber Batch is what I was told to name him, but we'll see. Oh, here's the other little snail. My anemone. He's up under this rock. He's an anemone. They move their animals like jellyfish, but maybe I'll be able to catch him later, so. Yeah, I sit here and watch this a lot, honestly. It's very entertaining for me. Got a nice little setup here. Don't really have much else right now. Still still working, work in progress. I just got this little eucalyptus tree. Thank you. I'm gonna be in a little pot. Uh, I think now I'm gonna go to the gym. It's just core day, but whatever. I'll bring you guys along. You see what I do for ad day. Trying to see Seattle over there, really pretty. Sometimes I give myself a really hard time about taking downtime. You know, it's not social time. I feel like I should be doing something with people all the time. No one spends all of their time with other people, no matter how much it looks like they do. They're not always being productive. It's so easy for me to think that everyone is doing something, but in reality, we're, we're really all not. <laughs> and that, that kind of helps me. Sometimes it'll last for months where I feel like I barely see people or barely do anything or barely talk to anybody. I felt like everyone else was doing that, you know, but we all feel alone sometimes and you're not alone in that. Let's go lift. We'll lift, do abs. Be sure to stretch. Yeah, decided I'm gonna go hot tub. Sounds like a good time. There we go. Please don't fall. It's raining. That's my big fig tree. It's gonna like cover me in the summer. I used to think I would do interviews with people on my YouTube channel in the hot tub. Do like hot tub interviews. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. I have a very important question for the interview to ask you. Okay, what is the question? Pass. Ugh, dry it off from the hot tub and put on some clothes. Surprise, surprise, I put on clothes. I used to be such a good vlogger. And, you know, well, actually, maybe I wasn't. Maybe I've always just been bad. That's okay, I enjoy it. Chapstick. Cause it's dry. You would think with it being all rainy like this, I wouldn't be so dry. But I'm so dry. Say la vie, as somebody says, probably the French. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go get some food. That market. These cookies are also really good too. The cookie. Wow, that was the first time that I've ever went to Met Market and not found food that I wanted to eat for like lunch or something. But I did just spend six dollars, seven dollars on this piece of cake because 
I'm treating myself. And it's so, so good. Let's go! What are you doing? All right, we got some pineapple chicken fried rice in here. I got it kind of spicy. So, I'm gonna take care of this. Hold on. This is like, this is like my ultimate treat. All right, let's see. Influencers had it right. Oh, I'm good. You melt it. There's nothing better. I'm just gonna sit here and eat cake, you know? Mmm. It's got nuts in it. Go for a walk? Oh! Whoa, that was a fast spin. You wanna go for a walk? I eat. A little cold and rainy. But we're gonna walk over to one of my favorite parts of living over here. And uh, you'll see why. Huh? And then after just a few minutes, look at her, she's like, do it. You have to do it. So yeah, after just a few minutes of hiking, and not even hiking, just walking down the street, we get to this um, forest preserve. Schmidt, Schmidt, Schmidt's forest preserve here in West Seattle. Little Sheba loves the trails. And then she gets to kind of run. Please don't get muddy, go this way. Go that way. Yeah. Stay out of the mud, please. Or you're gonna have to get a bath and you hate doing that. Oh, my camera battery's low, oh no. Before my camera battery dies, I'll try and show you guys the spots that I love, but this is like a sequoia, I think, by the way the bark is, but I can't really see the needles are too high up. Arbor, I wish that I could show you it in comparison, but I mean, it's really big and massive, so. I think it's a sequoia just because of the way that it looks like at the top to me, but. If you could tell a difference, let me know. Just surrounded by like all different kinds of trees. I wanna show you my other favorite spot. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. Okay, other favorite spot is this fallen log. And this little, next to this little waterfall. So pretty. Such a big log too, this thing was huge. And she, Arbor, no! You are not allowed on that. You're gonna fall. You are a clumsy old dog. What do you call me? We're gonna go on a little hike. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get some footage, but if not, I'll see you back at the house. I finally think he's out. Can you kind of see him? Oh, there he is. There's my little anemone. What are you doing down there all curled up? Looking like you're... I don't think I'm allowed to say what you look like on my YouTube channel. I'm pretty much just gonna spend the rest of the day. That's pretty late now watching Vox Machina TV on Amazon. If you haven't watched it, it's really good. If you like fantasy, it's really good. Um, and playing League of Legends, so uh, we'll chat soon. Never stop learning.